Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into CryptoZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help out the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Alright guys, before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer, anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. Looking at the overall crypto market cap today, we're currently sitting at $1.65 trillion. We're up 21.1% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, BTC dominance is currently sitting at 42.6%. Looking at the overall markets, guys, finally, finally, we're seeing some sort of relief around the cryptocurrency markets. We're seeing markets in major, major green, especially in the last 24 hours. Some altcoins are even up 40 to 50%. But still, I am not convinced the bottom is in. We need to hit certain price levels for Bitcoin in order for us to be very positive that, you know, um, the uh, bottom is officially in and the markets are, you know, toward going towards its, uh, you know, recovery zone. So we will see that happen, um, you know, in the, in the next couple of days. But uh, I will jump into Bitcoin charts later on in this video as well. And we will see what's exactly going on. But today I want to talk about none other than VeChain, guys. Alright guys, VeChain family, wow, 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 look what's VeChain doing. So VeChain is currently trading at 11.1 cents, we're up, wow, 44.6% in just the last 24 hours, guys, in USD comparative. We're also up 25% in BTC comparative in just the last 24 hours. VeChain's current rank on Coin Market Cap and on Coin Gecko is at the top 20th spot. Market cap right now is $7.3 billion. Meanwhile, 24-hour trading volume is at $2.3 billion. Zooming out and looking at the bigger picture for VeChain, guys, in just the last year alone, we're still up 2,300%. Obviously, in the last 14 to 30 days, we are down 52.5%, but that should not come as a surprise to anyone because you guys know what happened in the cryptocurrency markets for the last few days. We saw Bitcoin uh, price crash, uh, you know, very significantly, which caused the markets to crash, you know, very significantly as well. But, um, you know, uh, you know, so far, so good. If we look at the bigger picture, guys, since last year, it's still up 2,300%. Um, so, you know, let's deep dive into the charts and see what's exactly going on with VeChain. All right, guys, VeChain family. Wow, we did exactly what I wanted VeChain to do. And if you guys watched my video yesterday, you guys know exactly what I am talking about. Let me bring up the Fibonacci retracement level right off the bat for you guys. So we can get a better picture as to what we're dealing with right now. So if you guys watched my video yesterday, I did say Bitcoin was on a shaky side of the spectrum at that point. It was trading at 32, I believe $32,000. I did say, guys, we have a potential to fall back even further. But I said, guys, we have to get above this level of, you know, uh, resistance. We have to stay above that because if we are unable to, uh, you know, get above this level of uh, resistance, you know, it is not going to be looking too good for uh, VeChain, in my personal opinion. And guess what, guys? We finally got above this level of resistance, and now we're holding uh, right above it, and we're currently trading at 11 cents. So, um, you know, yay, like, in, uh, yay, like, we're happy. Uh, but right now, you know, let's not get too excited because we have to see Bitcoin hit certain price levels before we do get, you know, excited and say the bottom is officially in. Uh, but so far, so good. Uh, if you guys did pick some VeChain up around this price level where we saw VeChain go all the way at the 6.5 cents level, uh, if you bought back there, you would be up 66.83% since then. So crazy, crazy gains being made. This goes to show you do not want to be shaken out during these price pullbacks, guys. I'll always say that to you guys. As long as you have done your due diligence and research and invested what you can afford to lose in cryptocurrency, um, you know, patience will be your best friend in the crypto markets. And always take profits. I always tell you guys that on a single, uh, you know, um, basis, single day basis, because at the end of the day, um, you know, these kind of pullbacks, these kind of wicks uh, towards the downside can happen anytime in cryptocurrencies because, you know, cryptocurrencies are heavily manipulated by the whales and they take advantage of the markets. And their number one goal is to shake out the weak hands. And you, 
do not want to be the weak hands getting shaken out. As, as long as you believe in the long term future and you're in for the long haul, you guys just want to huddle your bags and that will pay off. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. Imagine the people that sold, panic sold around this level. And uh, now they're seeing, uh, you know, uh, VeChain up 67% from uh, the price they sold at. I'm pretty sure they are not so happy. But I do not blame these people. I know a lot of new money is coming into the space right now. And, um, you know, I made some certain mistakes like that as well when I was coming new into the markets. I have been in the markets for a few years now and I have learned a lot of things. And all my mistakes I have made, I try to show my viewers because I care about each and every one of my viewers. And I do not want you guys making the same mistakes. I want you guys to succeed in this market and take full advantage of it. And that's why I always give you guys tips that, you know, always take profits, guys, because taking profits is very, very crucial in my personal opinion, uh, because, you know, you could use that money for your personal use. Not only that, you can use that money to buy major dips when they do occur, because in cryptocurrency, guys, we can see as crazy as it may sound, this is the wild, wild west of cryptocurrencies. You know, you know, we can see massive pullbacks even in bull run up to 40 to 50 percent. I know it's crazy. It sounds absolutely insane. But like I said, this market is run by big players. And, you know, uh, you guys know we saw two news come out, especially the Elon FUD and uh, along with uh, we saw the China FUD. They were super close to one another. What a coincidence, right? So that really caused the Bitcoin price to fall really sharply. And I believe a whales took a massive advantage of that news to shake out the weak hands and create panic. And we did, you know, have a lot of panic being created. We saw one trillion dollar, guys. Let me repeat that again. We saw one trillion dollar getting wiped down in cryptocurrency markets in just three days. Absolutely insane. So, you know, it could be scary. I know it could be scary, but this is cryptocurrency, guys. You will get used to it as time goes by. But please always do take profits. But for VeChain, what would we like VeChain to do, guys? So, like I said, right now, all eyes are on Bitcoin right now because at the end of the day, Bitcoin is the king of the market. And I'm sure you guys have realized that by now. Because whenever, even though, even if we're seeing some crazy rallies, even if we're sitting at like all time highs and Bitcoin decides to, you know, go towards the downside, guys, all the altcoin market is going to fall, you know, sharply. And there's nothing stopping that. That's just how the markets work. And, um, you know, with Bitcoin uh, right now, it's still on the shaky end of the spectrum. Obviously, we are seeing markets recover right now, but I am not convinced uh, until Bitcoin hits certain price levels. So let's jump into Bitcoin's price run and then we will come look at a V chain once again. Right now, we are above this level of resistance. Uh, we're sitting at 37,900 and uh, basically $38,000 level. I would like for us to get back above this level of resistance, guys. This one, and most importantly, the $46,500 level and stay above that for at least a day and you know trade sideways or even around here trade sideways this is what i would like for us to see you guys can see we almost uh are just the initial you know uh, when we saw that price pullback the crash happen and we went, when we went to thirty thousand dollars you guys can see we went all the way up to forty two thousand uh, dollars and a lot of people were saying the bottom is in but i was saying no i'm not convinced until we hit one of these price you know um your resistance levels and stay above there then we could be having a different conversation and that was a clear fake out guys and you guys can see what happened we had a double bottom for bitcoin and right now we are heading towards the upside but still this could possibly be a fake out unless like i said we get above one of these two price uh you know uh you know resist resistant levels and stay above there then we will be more confident that you know the bottom is in so like i said right now it's still on the shaky end of the spectrum as crazy as it may sound uh so you know there is a possibility for bitcoin to have another you know you know dip in my opinion if that happened guys we have to be prepared for v chain to go towards the downside once again and you know we could possibly see these price levels happen again i do not like to uh see v chain go below this level of uh support at that 10 cents mark but you know we have to keep things realistic uh, because that's definitely a possibility for us to you know go down to uh, because right now all eyes are on bitcoin still so just be prepared for that. I'm just putting that out there for you guys. Uh, and um, But, you know, the bullish scenario is if Bitcoin does get ba back above one of those two price levels, 
then guys, you will see a fast recovery for VeChain. We're already up 26% just today. And that goes to show how fast the markets move when they do recover. Right now, we're super, super correlated with Bitcoin. When Bitcoin goes up, markets recover extremely fast. I believe altcoins can even outpace Bitcoin in that case. Uh, but when we go down, you guys know already what happens. When Bitcoin goes down 10%, we would see altcoins go down 20%. So let's hope that Bitcoin gradually moves up towards the upside and we do get above one of these uh, resistance level and actually stay there. And then I believe it's game on for the entire, you know, crypto space as a whole. Uh, but, um, you know, you guys know my stance on VeChain. This project is revolutionary, guys. It's changing the crypto space, bringing mass adoption, has a real use case. And, um, you know, that just gets me extremely, extremely excited. The community is very large as well. And, you know, I cannot be more bullish on VeChain. You guys know I've been through VeChain on a daily basis. I've covered it a lot. I've told you guys why I'm bullish on it. So you guys know exactly what VeChain is trying to solve. And if you are new to my channel, it's your first time coming on my channel. Let me just share, um, you know, a brief picture as to which companies VeChain is partnered with. And it will give you a better understanding as to what's going on. So VeChain is partnered with some of the biggest, you know, global companies around the world, such as Walmart, China, H&M, DHL, BMW, AWS, P, uh, you know, PWC, and you know, this goes to show what VeChain is really doing. It's just not an ordinary coin, guys. It has a strong fundamentals, utility, and on top of that, it's bringing mass adoption to the crypto space. And you guys can see these one of the, these big companies are using VeChain Thor blockchain. And this will create a lot of other companies, uh, you know, feeling more, um, you know, comfort comfortable to, uh, you know, either implement a VeChain uh, to their organizations or, you know, um, try just bring blockchain you know, and implement it in their organization. So very, very exciting times indeed. And VeChain is like, you know, very, very, uh, you know, um, good, solid project in my personal opinion. And I believe it is here to stay long term, you know, the sky's the limit for the price for VeChain. Uh, but yeah, like you guys know, we also partnered with Salesforce, one of the biggest, you know, um, another one of the big companies around the world. And that really created a lot of uh, buzz around the crypto space. That partnership announcement came at the perfect time. And this is where we finally broke past this level of uh, support, you know, level of uh you know, resistance. We were trying to break uh, past this level of resistance for the longest time. When the sales for announcement happened, guys, you guys see what happened. We went and we hit an all-time high, and then you know, obviously, we had a correction. But you guys know my stance on VeChain, guys. I don't need to go over and over again about what VeChain really is. And uh, but all the VeChain holders, you guys know, uh, and um, you know, all the uh, all you guys are holding very strong, and you guys are here for the long haul, and your patience will pay off. But always take profits. I cannot stress that enough for you guys. But with that being said, guys, I think I am going to wrap up today's content around here. Uh, my uh, personal target for a VeChain is if Bitcoin were to get um, to, uh, you know, those certain levels, uh, we will get uh, to 15 cents at least. But like I said, all eyes are on Bitcoin right now. But let me know in the comment section below where you could see VeChain go at the end of June. I would love to know your thoughts down below. And um, stay safe out there, guys. Safety comes first. Health comes first. Family comes first. And everything else absolutely comes later. And also, guys, please... If you have not joined the Telegram group chat, what are you waiting for? It's free to join. Come join the group and, you know, we talk about cryptocurrencies, the latest trends, news going on around the crypto space and just have a great time at the end of the day. So uh, what are you waiting for? Come join the group, say hello and let's build this, you know, community together. And thank you so much for all the support that you guys show me. Each and every one of you guys, thank you so, so much. You guys mean the world to me and also uh, stay safe out there. Safety comes first, health comes first, family comes first and everything else absolutely comes later. I think I'm going to wrap up today's video around here. It's been CryptoZX and peace out.